Hello YouTube, welcome back to this week's video. This is 2E0IQJ. So this week's video, we're going to be comparing the Bayerfing BF-T17 versus the Pufang F-15, which I reviewed in last week's video. Do the usual half mile on air test, see which one sounds better. What do you reckon? Will it be the Bayerfing or will it be the Pufang, which sounds better? I've also been asked, how do I program CTCSS tones into these radios. That's done on a computer, I'm showing that in this video. So we do a quick overview of the radio, show you the differences, do the CTCS programming uh, with these radios, we're going to do an on-air test and I've got an announcement at the end of the channel to make. So uh, let's get right to it. Okay, the differences between these radios apart from the colour is the Bayer thing has an LED green display, the Pufang doesn't. The up and down buttons to change the channel and the lamp function is on the front of the Bayer thing, whereas on the Pufang it's on the side, so you get your PTT switch there. On a Pufang, or Pofung, you want to pronounce it, you've got your LED to turn on and off, because all radios these days need a light, your PTT and your channel up and down. On the top of the radios, you've got your LED for your lamp, because all radios need a lamp, your stubby antenna, and your on and volume control. Now the Bayer thing recharges via USB, which is on the back there, and that goes red and then green once it's charged. On the side of the Bayer thing, You've got your speaker mic connections. That's also where you plug in your programming cable, which we're going to use to program. Program we're going to use to program this radio CTCS tones on chirp. With the Pufung, you've got your uh, connection there for your speaker mic headset and stuff, and you also got USB, and that's where you recharge the radio. And they've both got a microphone on the front there. So there's the mic for that one, tiny mic socket there, and the one for here. It's just there, I don't know where you can see that, there, a little dot there, that's where the microphone goes. Apart from that, as far as I'm aware, they're pretty much the same radio. Both running 446 and both kicking about a half a watt of power. So let's go on the computer and I'll show you how to program C2CS tones into this radio. Okay, so to program the radio with the C2CSS tones, we're going to be using Chirp. So if I run Chirp, I'm using the latest version of Chirp, as you can see here. I've just installed Chirp via the flat pack. If I click on radio and download from radio, if I go up to Bayo thing, and you'll see there that the T15 isn't supported in the list. So it needs to be programmed under the Retivis 6 RB618. We're going to go Retivis, we're going to go RB618, we're going to press OK. And you can check, make sure the port on mine is dev TTY USB 0 because I'm a Linux user, yours might be uh, COM1, COM2 and so on, or whatever the port is for the Mac. Let's just click OK. You'll see there it says cloning in progress, cloning from radio. And there we go, we've just read the 16 channels on this radio. Now to change the C to CSS tone, we're going to double click here, and we're going to click on tone. And here you've got tone, and let's check and change that to whatever you want to change it to. So if, say example 54.1. You can then go radio and then you can upload to the radio. Press OK. It's now going to upload that to the radio with a tone of 254.1. I'll turn that off because I want to leave it as standard. Radio, upload to radio. Let it go uh, upload to the radio. The radio reboots itself. Now, to do the other one, the Pufung, it needs to be programmed under the Bayo thing. Soft um, settings. So if I plug it in, and go to File New, and we're going to click on New. We're going to go Radio, download from Radio. Let's go up to the Bayer thing, and we're going to do it under the BF Triple Eight setting. Press OK. Make sure the radio is on, which mine isn't. I've got no response from Radio. Let's turn it on. Radio, download from Radio. There we go. It does that with the radius turned on? It's now cloned it. Get that on, and you'll see there that whoever's had the radio, so Steve's probably played around with the programming. He got on channel eight, eighty-eight point five the tones from channel eight to channel sixteen. He can turn it off if you wanted to. I'm not going to do that. I leave it as standard. You can also change the power. Obviously, you won't be able to change the mode because it's stuck in FM, and so on. You can do everything by chirp, and that's how you program the CTCSS tones in both of these radios using chirp. Okay, we're on location. We're going to be testing this Bayer thing BFT17. See what it sounds like back to base with the other uh, Pufang radio. 
26 Tango Mike 062. 26 Tango Mike 062. Audio test 1, 2, 3, 4. Audio test 1, 2, 3, 4. So we're about half a mile away from the uh, shack. So see what that sounds like when we go back up to the shack. 26 Tango Mike 062. 26 Tango Mike 062. Audio test 1, 2, 3, 4. Audio test 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so we're going to test this Pufung back at a location. We're going to test the Pufung back to base with the other Bayerfing radio. 26 Tango Mike 062. 26 Tango Mike 062. Radio check 1, 2, 3, 4. Audio check 1, 2, 3, 4. 26 Tango Mike 062. Let's go and see what that sounds like back at base. 26 Tango Mike 062. 26 Tango Mike 062. Radio check 1, 2, 3, 4. Audio check 1, 2, 3, 4. 26 Tango Mike 062. So there we go, the Bayerfing BFT17 and the Pufung F15. Which one did you think sound better across the airways and which radio do you think is better? Personally, I prefer this one because you've got the LED display, but both of them have got the uh, voice. So when you change the channel, it says 1, 2, 3, and so on. So announcement for the end of this video is we've just hit 5,000 subscribers on this channel. So thank you so much, that's better, so much to everyone who's been subscribing to my videos, who regularly comments, so Des from Belfast, thank you very much for watching. Uh, Thicko from the UK, thank you very much for watching. He's not really thick, he just called him that, he wants to be called Thicko. His name's Theo, so thank you very much Theo for watching. And everybody else, Mr. Frosty or Mr. Snowman, I can't remember who watches the videos, and a couple of local people watch the videos. So thank you very much to everyone who's been watching the videos and subscribing to the channel. I'm going to keep doing the videos because you lot seem to like them. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. This is 2E0 IQJ. 7-3 for now.